For the last 18 years, our friend Carianna Nava has been lighting up the ballroom as a judge on Dancing with the Stars. She is joining us now. Please welcome Carianna Nava. Carianna Nava. Hey. Ten. 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 To both of you. Ten. Ten. Carianna, it's so great to see you. I always see you love seeing you. You look amazing. Thank you. I was Thank thinking, you. dang, you've been on the show now. What, like almost two decades, right? Almost 18 years. Wow. 32 seasons. That's wow. What do you remember about season one? Go back, because I remember even hearing about this show, oh, and I'm thinking one. ballroom. Spot. Like John no one Purdy. knew, yeah, what this was going to be. Season one, I didn't know what it was going to be. Let's just say that. We came out, and it was like, what is this weird show with ballroom, Latin dancing? No one had ever seen this before on television. And I mean, look at that. That's a long time ago. Wow. Yay. I bought my own dress. I do remember that. My you first did. episode, yeah, I bought my own dress to work because I was like, what do we do? How do we do this? Yeah. Ah. But it was so much fun. And Joey McIntyre came out. He did the very first dance on the very first season, and it was a cha-cha. Oh, that's a fun wow. fact. Yeah, I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. Look at that. What? what? <laughs> there have been so many changes yeah. um, over mm -hmm. the years uh, with, with the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, cut to now, we're how many seasons in? 32? This is 32, yeah. 32. Unbelievable. What? So what can we expect now when the finale? Because before it used to come down to two, now it seems like y'all have like five people in the finale. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I'm not exactly sure because we're not there yet. We take it one day at a time. And um, what I do love about the show, though, that's changed is like we've had various people come in and out of various roles. and. Now we have Julianne and Alfonso, and it just feels like a family. What I love about our show is, despite all the changes and all the additions, it always feels like a family, and I think that's something that we're really proud of. The talent's doing? gotten so much better, though. Now night <laughs> one kind of seems like it's the sorry, end. We had a previous <laughs> what it used to be, right? I feel like you had to do this arc. <laughs> now and now there's backup dancers yeah, for these performances. Yeah. I think everything has upped its game. Well, yeah. And last night we had a Taylor Swift night. Yes. Did you have a favorite moment or a favorite Taylor era? Well, you know, I love Taylor Swift. Her music is so uplifting and positive, and I think she speaks to the people. I would say 1989, is that the one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> is that the red? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go with that. My mind is yeah. that the red. Yeah, I'm the with you. I'm with Paula you. Paula Abdul, um, who seems like she would be a great guest judge, obviously considering her background. How's it been having her on the panel? She was great. She came back a couple weeks ago for music video night, and it was just wonderful to have her because, I mean, that is her world. When you think of music videos, you think Paula Abdul, and she's a friend, and we were just talking. I'm like, we've got to hang out more. She's like, let's hang out. I'm like, okay. She's got to teach me some TikTok videos. Hey. Oh, and you too. I want to come to your house and do yeah, your come, TikTok. Come to the family. Let's do it. His daughter <laughs> will my, my teach My daughter you. thinks she is Paula Abdul. She'll put you to work right there. <laughs> <laughs> what about through all the years? One thing I love is you bring such substance to the show. And a lot of times you get critiqued for helping the dancers with dance critiques. Has that been hard throughout the years to you were, navigate you, that? You were always so cool with me. And then when I get on stage, you were like, you were all mean to me. What's up with that? <laughs> no, <laughs> she's just giving you constructive yeah, criticism. Yeah, but you were like me too. I'm like, why are you acting like you're mean to me? Because I know you're nice to me off, off stage right now. No, listen. I was strict with you because you had a lot of talent, but you were, you know, you were letting something slide. Remember, you did a lift, oh. and that was the time oh. your job. Now you're like, now we're like, like throwing everyone around on the <laughs> towel. Like, where was that? <laughs> now everybody's getting tossed around with the exactly. No, but now we have dances that where lifts are allowed. We oh. didn't have those dances back. How when convenient. You were. Yes, how convenient. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? Speaking to what you were saying is that as a woman on the judge, I do get more slack than the guys do, and I always thought that was unfair. And so I started speaking out about it recently and just kind of letting people know. No, I've judged them fairly yeah. from my perspective, and it matters just as much as the boys. Well, as a Good viewer, I Good liked that so much, right? That's what we're watching to see true critiques to watch them get better and better. Did yeah, you do a lift? It, I, I don't remember. Did, <laughs> did, I, I, did I do a lift? It was a baby. <laughs> if I, if I would have committed a to a lift, I would have really lifted. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. You're an amazing dancer, Mario. Let's get that straight. Thank you, Carrie Ann. There we go. Um, switching gears on a more uh, serious note, you, you recently opened up about your battle with lupus. Mm -hmm. And you're here today as a, as a spokesperson to tell us about oh, the I, I Will Take on Lupus campaign. So tell us about it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for letting me talk about it. Um, yeah, I was diagnosed with lupus in 2013, but I didn't find out about it really until 2019. I had a colonoscopy, and I, I saw the words lupus on my chart, and I was like, oh, okay, so this is what's going on. And I didn't know this, but I think it's about half of the people who are diagnosed with lupus will get organ damage in the first five years. And a lot of people don't know about organ damage or the risks of it because it's an autoimmune disease and it's an inflammatory condition and it can lead to um, organ damage if you're not careful. So I just wanted to spread awareness. So I partnered with somebody and we are spreading the word about um, how it works and lupus and Good it's serious. You. And so I want yeah. people to go yeah. to the website and learn about it. Nice. I feel like you've been through so much. I you always come around. So thank you for spreading this awareness. You're doing well. Thank you for letting me come and share my story. I appreciate it. It will help love a lot of people, I hope. Well, we well, just keep love Keep killing you. it on the show. Uh, guys, big thanks to Carrie for being here. For more information, please visit the I Will Take on Lupus campaign website. Very important. We'll be right back.